Daddy. Noah's been using the Phonoc FM for about 12 months. We started the Radio Aid trial um, sort of end of July last year and we finished it May this year and we're still using it up to now, so about 12 months. Noah was diagnosed with bilateral severe to profound hearing loss at two weeks of age. Uh, he was fitted with hearing aids at two months of age. Uh, since then, at the age of 17 months, we fitted him with the latest Naida, uh, Phonak Naida uh, hearing aids with integrated FM technology. Um, he has been using this technology regularly with, uh, and his family have made full use of this technology as well. He is now 31 months old. As we went along, we found out that it was more beneficial in certain situations. So, for example, in the car, or when I'm sort of in another room, or if we're doing like sing songs and there's like quite a few, a few of us doing it in the family or whatever. You know, it's good with things like that. Um, so it just, it just varied along with his development, basically. Um, his hearing is really good if we're sort of on a one-to-one -one. but obviously when we go out into the garden and if we're in the supermarket and things like that the hearing aids aren't as good and obviously the radio aid gives him that better clarity of my voice. The concept of an FM system is very simple um, it's a very basic system where you have an FM transmitter and an FM receiver which is um, linked to the hearing aid. So when the person who speaks through the transmitter microphone speaks, their voice is directly sent across radio frequency into the child's hearing aid through the receiver they're wearing. Also commonly, uh, FM transmitters are known as radio aids because of the way that they're using the radio frequency. Yeah, obviously when, when it first started working for Noah and we noticed it working obviously you know he reacts much better when you've got it in and you're speaking to him if you're singing a song with him it, you know his you know if he's repeating something after you it'll be much clearer if you've got the radio aid on than if you haven't you know he hears the words much much better and he'll hear like instructions much better you know if you sort of if I was like in here for example and he was in there and I said Noah bring mummy the book you know, I had the radio aid in, he would, you know, he would bring me the book. Whereas if he had his, just his hearing aids in, you know, I might have to, like, really shout or, you know, like, do a few more gestures or whatever to him rather than, you know, just using my voice alone at just a normal, a normal range. He's a really sociable little boy anyway, but, um, I just, I just think with, for Noah it means he doesn't miss out on anything and that's a really good thing for him because he's, you know, if he hasn't, if you haven't got the radio aid on, he's, he's looking at people's faces the whole time, you know, like, oh God, don't, don't miss me out of anything. Whereas if you've got the radio aid on, he sort of feels a bit more comfortable that he's, he's in on everything, if you know what I mean, because he's, he is like in your face constantly, he's not shy and retiring. So, yeah, so you can, you know, that's made a difference for him in his, in his confidence, I think, definitely. Makes, makes a really big difference and like when we're shopping as well when he's in the buggy because he can't see my face um, you know you can you can hear really well and like if we're out walking with the traffic as well you know even if like I bend over to try and speak to him when he's just got his aids and it's really hard with all the you know the outside noise whereas if he's got the radio aid on well if I've got the radio aid on he can you know he hears much better and I think that makes him much much happier because he's not missing out on things because obviously the benefits it's had for Noah 
have been absolutely brilliant and you can actually see the benefits it's not one of those things that you know you don't see benefits for years and years you can actually see it as your child's progressing um, and basically you want to give your child every opportunity to, to live as normal a life as possible in a hearing world so if you can do that and try and mimic normal hearing as best as possible then you know by giving by letting them use the radio aid then I feel that that's giving them that chance to do that.